areas of Kelland served by the south, Southwest Power Pool are no longer under an emergency energy alert. Earlier this week, some people were temporarily without power because of rolling blackouts. Kelland's Kelly Volk sat down with an SDSU professor who explained how the country's electrical grid system works and what happened this week. Sid Surya Narayanan has about two decades of academic experience in electric power engineering. He's currently the department head of electrical engineering and computer science at SDSU. The electricity grid in the U.S. has three major portions. The biggest problem or challenge with the electricity grid is whatever generation is available at any time should exactly match the load or electrical demand on the system at every instant in time. An imbalance can lead to an uncontrolled blackout. However, rolling blackouts are a preventative measure. When you roll the blackouts through, you are scheduling those loads that you don't want to put on the system on a uh, schedule so that you can bring those loads back up with greater certainty. Surya Narayanan is using what happened this week to teach his students. In fact, he spent the last 15 minutes of a lecture this week talking about what went wrong in Texas. Anytime we have an incident like this, I'm reminded of when I was a graduate student in 2003 and we had the Northeast blackout in August of that year in uh, New York and uh, southeastern Canada. And uh, my instructors at that time used that opportunity to teach us about what was going on. And so whenever we have an opportunity like that, I tend to grab at it. In Brookings, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. While rolling blackouts do help keep balance, he says they are something that should be avoided.